Okay, on this first example here, we're being asked to find the side length of a right triangle. Okay, so when you're missing a side of a right triangle, you're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we're missing a leg. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our equation. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Uh, before we go any further, I wanna look at a little side note because it's important for you guys to realize and not make this mistake when you're plugging into your calculator. Okay, our side length is two squared to three. That whole quantity is being squared. If you plug into your calculator the top one without the parentheses, you are only squaring uh, the radical square root of three, which means that you're gonna get two times three, which is six. What we want is the parentheses squaring the whole thing, what they call quantity squared, which means that both pieces are getting squared and you're gonna end up with 12, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and simplify that with 12 because that's the answer we want. And when you simplify that down, we end up with x equals square root of 24, which we break into biggest perfect square factor, which is square root of four times square root of six, and we get x is two square root of six. Okay, again, on set number two, they're asking us to find the missing side length, x there. So we're gonna look at the triangle that they've created for us. We know that that tall leg is 15 because it mirrors the other one. Um, we know on the rectangle that the bottom edge is 12. Since the full length across the trapezoid is 20 and the other two leg portions are marked congruent, uh, 20 minus 12 is eight, which means that each of those has to be four. So now to solve for x, we're just gonna look at the triangle over there and set up the Pythagorean theorem with our hypotenuse squared equal to the sum of the leg squared. I'm gonna go ahead and solve that out. We get x squared equals 241. When you're reading the um, statement, it says write it in simple, ra simplest radical form and as a decimal to the nearest tenth. If you have the calculator that we've asked you to purchase, uh, you don't have to worry about simplest radical form. That's what your calculator will kick out. And you'll know that square root of 241 is simplest. And then you can use the double arrow to get the decimal form, which is 15.5. On set three, they're giving us a right triangle that has a leg of 12 inches and a hypotenuse of 15 inches, and they're asking us to find the area. So the most important thing for us to start with is a diagram that's labeled correctly. Uh, if we're asking to find the area, it's one half base times height. With the information that they've given us, we know that the base is 12 and we don't know the height. We can find the height using the Pythagorean theorem. When we solve that out, we end up with our height as nine. Plug that into our one half base times height equation. And we end up with an area of 54 inches squared. On this example here, they're asking for the distance between the bases on a baseball diamond. And they tell you, well, they tell you the distance is 90 feet, sorry. They're asking you to calculate the distance from home plate to second base. So it's extremely important for you to know that the base path of a baseball diamond is a square. So we have our square drawn there with all four sides the same, and they're looking for the distance from home plate to second base, which is marked there as x. So we're gonna set up the two sides squared, which is 90 squared plus 90 squared. We go ahead and solve that out. They're asking for it to the nearest foot, which means that x would be approximately 127. And then on this last example, they say given any three segment lengths that give that would form an obtuse triangle. So there's two important things that they've drawn your attention to here. First off, it needs to be obtuse, and second, it has to be a triangle. So it can't just be any three sides. To be a triangle, the sum of the two short legs must be greater than the long leg. And then for it to be obtuse, it still has to meet those requirements and also the obtuse uh, the sum of the squares of the two short legs has to be less than the square of the long leg. So when we're picking, we have to make sure that our numbers meet both requirements, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pick two, seven, and eight, and then I can check two plus seven is greater than eight, so that my two short legs, are, their sum is bigger than the long leg. And then when I check the squares, the square of the two shorter legs is less than the square of the long leg. 
So go ahead and see if you can find another example on your own that meets both of those requirements.